So a shock swap deal for Manchester United star for Frankie De Jong. In this video, we'll be talking about the latest news and that, giving you the thoughts and opinions as we always do. So let's get straight into it. So it was coming in from Manchester United, Manchester Evening News that Manchester United reportedly negotiated with Barcelona over a swap deal for Frankie De Jong, in which Anthony would go to Barcelona and Frankie De Jong will come to Manchester United. Now, Manchester United obviously interested in Frankie De Jong as always. has been strong now for a couple of years. And Manchester United are still chasing the Barcelona forward. Now, the main issue is he is on €600,000 a week yet. The free being reported is thirty five to £40 million. Pounds. I do certainly think it's a deal Manchester United can get done if they are efficient now. Like I said, with Frankie De Jong, it could be one of those deals that Manchester United keep doing. And keep negotiating for but it doesn't eventually happen but i know de jong is a player that ten Hag admires a lot one of the first players that he wanted to sign in the club and it's obviously a deal that he wants to do so i think listen de jong deal could happen i mean under the old regime we've seen how unofficial manchester united were um in the last window we went all the way to barcelona to try and get de jong to come to the club um, and it just didn't happen so if manchester united do want him wilcox baradas Dan Ashworth will go and get this deal happen now. De Jong has got a contract until 2026. So he's still got two years left on his contract. So 35 to £40 million pound would actually be a really, really good bargain regarding the circumstances, as well as selling Anthony on as well now. With Anthony, I don't think he actually wants to leave Manchester United. And I think he wants to stay and fight for his position at the club, which is fair enough. But for me, if I was looking at Anthony, look at my position at Manchester United. Ahmad, I would have Ahmad over Anthony, and he probably knows that. And Garnacho over Anthony on the right hand side, and Sancho, in my opinion, over that right hand side. Now, reports obviously Manchester United want to sign Masbrari to help unlock Anthony, so maybe Anthony will wait with that. Anthony's obviously adamant that he wants to start and play for Manchester United, so he could be reluctant to a swap to to a swap deal. But listen, I don't think that deal will happen. Um, I I just the reliability of the source just doesn't seem credible enough. I do certainly think if Manchester United won this deal to happen and um, they will make it happen and it will be efficient now obviously if we're looking at Manchester United midfielders Ugarte is probably on the top of the list then after that who would it actually be I I don't know to be honest with you who would actually come in um, over over Ugarte maybe Amrabat maybe Rabio. certainly though uh, after Ugarte De Jong would be a player I will be very very interested in coming to Manchester United I think he is a very very good player um and listen, I think he would he wants to come to Manchester United. I mean most of the players that Eric Ten Hag has gone for have been ex Ten Hag players, but he still wants to work with them now. De Jong has obviously been on the sideline with an ankle injury that forced him to miss Euro twenty twenty four. Um we don't know when he's gonna come back from injury, but listen, with any player we're gonna look at the injury record. Um I think with De Jong as well, he's a very, very good player. And I think for me, it would be a perfect deal for Manchester United. You know, get De Jong in for thirty-five to forty million pounds. Sell Anthony, um, the other way. I think Anthony is certainly a player. He, as I said, he knows he's not going to get a lot of minutes next season. Yes, he's willing to fight for his place. But what if we look at what we've seen in that pre-season tour? He doesn't look like he can offer enough to be starting for Manchester United. And that's what I would actually let Anthony go. It's an Eric Ten Hag has tried with him, and you can you can kind of see Eric Ten Hag's frustration with him. Um, in terms of he, towards the end of last season, he just totally didn't start him. He brought him on for minutes here and there. But you look at Eric Ten Hag, this is probably one of, this is not being the greatest signing. I mean, Anthony cost £100 million. It was a deal that Manchester United want to do. He can't contract until June 2028. I think if this is a deal that certainly arises, Manchester United will go and get it done. And it would be a huge statement deal. I mean, bringing De Jong and getting rid of Anthony would be a fantastic deal. Now, if you look at, um, De Jong's injury record this season he had four injuries ankle sprain which made him miss 14 games um, a fever which he missed one game an ankle injury which he missed six games in March and then another ankle injury in um, April that missed seven games so listen De Jong he hasn't had too many injuries I think he's a listen he's a good player if you want to look at his market value for someone like Frankie De Jong um It will probably be quite high. I mean, De Jong is a fantastic player. I think for me, he could be that perfect signing to kind of unlock and play in that midfield role for Manchester United. He's the sort of player that we need. And as I said, after Ugarte, he would be a very, very good signing. I think Ugarte is the priority right now. Um, and I think Manchester United want to sign him. 
Um, and I think after Ugarte, Manchester United will fully be focused on this De Jong deal. He's worth £70 million according to transfer, £70 million Euros according to transfer market. So if you can get him into £40 million, that would be a really, really good deal. Considering, I would say, Anthony is worth around £30 million, it would be a very, very, um, very good deal for Manchester United to get done. But the main question is, the wages of De Jong are, are, are really, really high. And I, I don't know if Manchester United will go out and take that risk on that deal. Um, listen, £600,000 a week, will De Jong be willing to take a huge... It would have to be over 50% of a wage cut. I mean, £600,000 a week is... Or €600,000 Euros, 600, Euros a week is a lot of money. Um, it's €31 million a year. For De Jong, that is, that would that's a lot of money. It would definitely make him the highest player player in the Premier League. I think De Jong is actually the highest player paid player in La Liga. That wage would have to be cut down. I mean, two hundred thousand pound a week would probably what Manchester United would give him. Don't know if he'd be happy with that. And if he's actually willing to the move, I mean, reports that last season he wasn't really happy with the position that he was getting in. Um, at Barcelona, so he could be open for a move. Um, they've obviously got Pedri, Gavi. I think Gundogan plays with them, so listen, it would be a mad deal to do. Um, it'd be very unlikely. I don't know if Manchester United will kind of do this deal, but I do think it would be a good deal for all parties. I mean, Manchester United actively want to sell Anthony, and ultimately we need another player to come in. And Young, we need a midfielder. I think we are pretty stacked in that in that attacking department. If Jadon Sancho stays, um, we've got Xerxes, we've got Ahmad, Garnacho, Rashford. Hoyland, like it will, it will be a very, very stacked department, and I think we could get in De Jong, and that would be a perfect summer. You look at Manchester United midfield options, then you'll have, assuming just say Casemiro stage, you'll have Casemiro, Mount, uh, Maynou, Bruno Fernandes, um, assuming Ericsson stays, but I think Ericsson will go, Ugarte, and but you'd have Maynou, uh, Maynou, Bruno, Mount, Casemiro, Ugarte, and De Jong. That would be a very, very good midfield. And I think that midfield will be very, very important. But let me know your thoughts. Should Manchester United do this swap deal? It was a huge breaking story. I mean, it does seem a bit a bit out of touch, but it would be a mad, mad deal for Manchester United to do. And a huge statement deal. As I said, we've already made two signings. I do think we need three, four, maybe five new signings. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. This has been an interesting deal. Would you sign De Jong to Manchester United and Anthony going? Um, let's see what happens. Um, it would be certainly a deal I would do. And it would show a big statement of intent for Manchester United going into the new season. Thanks for watching. Peace.